Part three. Three. Oh, okay. So what was I talking about? Your muscles and Your health. Your muscles. If you're fat, then sure. you're fat. If you're thin, you're thin, then you're thin. I have no idea what to do after that. <laughs> well, I mean, I was just saying that um, just work out. You know, it's it's not it's no problem. Um, it doesn't have to be instantaneous either. Just work out. Like what I usually do. What I usually do every day, like before I go to work, um, when I'm in, the, you know, I just do some push-ups. Mm -hmm. like simple ones like you know um just give yourself give yourself um, um a number of push-ups like for example you want to do at least 30 a day mm -hmm. right so you keep doing that for 30 times a day <laughs> and once it gets easier on you let's say for the next week you want to up it up so like add five more 35 <laughs> and then 40 45 you know, whatever <laughs> that you know suits you better like whether you want to start 30 then 40 you could do that if it's comfortable for you yeah you know, just you know don't be unreasonable and say oh i'll do 31 or 32 200 i mean you could do that but you know, <laughs> the spirit is willing but the body is weak exactly yeah well yeah but the body can be molded it's spirit, like clay the will, the will of the spirit is always strong Right? It's stronger than the body. Right? -ha. So if you can mold the body can be molded, the spirit is always strong, so Yeah. Just you know, everybody can do it. You know. I know You can do it. I know for a fact the hardest thing and you know, working out is easy, right? Mm -hmm. The hardest part of that is with the diets. Nobody wants to eat diets. They want to eat pizza. You want to eat anything that tastes good and feels good for them, right? No vegetables. Regardless of how unhealthy it is. Right? I don't want vegetables. That's a fact. That's a fact. Um, there's no way around to it, really. But if you really want to be healthy, you're going to have to at least... Punish yourself. <laughs> at least try it, you know, maybe like have a dab of few vegetables like a caesar salad or you know what you can always get a bourbon uh, a caesar salad with bourbon chicken that is pretty good personal preference people well i like it it's good see uh, <laughs> well because bourbon chicken is pretty good it's tasty um i like broccoli too i know a lot of people don't like broccoli I especially don't know kids why, i don't know why i like broccoli it's just i like broccoli your so, body needs it yeah and um I like tomatoes. A lot of people don't like tomatoes because it's slimy. But for me, it's juicy. Kids, you may want to stay away right now. <laughs> and then, um, I don't so much like onions because no, no. they're kind of powerful. But, you know, you slice them, dice them, put them in little meals, you know, it, it helps. Point of fact, it hinders cancer. Exactly. That and garlic. You know? And baldness. And baldness. I don't know if I'm going bald either. I, I have like See? a hairline or something here. See? Yeah, so. I don't know if I'm going bald or maybe it's just male pattern. Baldness. Baldness. Yeah. You're still going bald. <laughs> bald, 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 bald. This is bald in the making. So. Enjoy the hair. I know. I have to enjoy my hair. So, uh, you know. <laughs> okay, that's enough, pretty boy. Hey, I have to enjoy it. I'm gonna be bald in a few years. I'm gonna lose my hair. How would oh. you know you're gonna lose hair in a few years? I don't know. Do you have I an estimated know. time? I don't know. Forty years old? Thirty-five? How is that? A few years, please do tell. You're twenty-five. How is that? A few years. Like you said, twenty-five is an old age for me. You know. I like and how the hell's forty? A lot of people short. think that it isn't. For me, it is. I, I like to think that when you're 25, you have to be able to have a house, a car, and be able to have a family. In other words, you're a high achiever. I don't know if that's what it is. I'm not sure. Um, I don't know. That's, that's how I think. That's what I think. Mm -hmm. uh, although I've had a hard problem doing, you know, doing the stuff that I said. You know. um, because of the economy and, you know, and everything else, it's 
pretty hard to be able to achieve those goals. Capitalism sucks. <laughs> Out of this moment. Basically, um, we have plans as a family here. You know, we have plans. We help out each other, especially the fat guy holding the camera. We're helping him out. Um, <laughs> but, you know, since he's finished and everything is cool and ready. Hooray! Um, once he gets started with his life, everything should be fine. And then I'll be able to get my house, my car, and start a family. I'm hoping to do it within next year, to the next two years. Next year? Wow, do you have my hopes? Next year. You better find a job, man. You little funny. You're fully aware, you're fully aware around, what is it, 29, 30, 31? Like, what, almost, like, three and a half days from now, it's next year. Yeah. But I count by months, not days. Uh, okay. You're still, it's still gonna be next month. No, I approximate the months. I don't, like, specifically target a month. Don't tell me you're gonna pull off, like, the whole 28, uh, 28 days later, like, 28 months later, yeah, 28 years later, around, 28 decades later, 28 like, centuries later, like and then 28 million years around, later. It's like something somewhere around early next year. That's technically, like I guess, uh, three and a half year, uh, three and a half days from now. Which is kind of vague. Gives you an idea. How is that vague? So, That's like hard. So you Good better job. find a job within that time period, because next year I am going to be working part time and I have to go back to school or you know whatever to get. You miss a school. Well, yeah, I do actually. I hate my job. Um, no, I, I I hate the job. I like the people I work with. The job is decent. I just hate doing it. You know what I mean? No, I don't think people do. <laughs> you hate I think you hate the job, but then again, you actually like the people and the essence of the job, but you hate the job. So I hate uh, doing it. I hate doing it, okay? I, I, the work is decent. It's a decent see? job. I hate doing it. See? I love my coworkers. They're friendly. They're awesome. And your you boss? Know? My boss is awesome too. I've done a lot of shit and he just... Waved it over. He's awesome. I love him. And um, I don't know why that is. I've, I've had a lot of... I've done a lot of work. He needs social uh, social people. That's <laughs> why he left. No, the problem... I don't know. I don't know what it is, but um, for every new type of work I've, did, I've done, I've had like managers and bosses and stuff like that. They're all pretty friendly with me. And I've been able to... They want you to work as a slave. That's why they're yeah. friendly. But, you know, I, I do repay that back. Their friendliness and everything. Like that. I just don't abuse that, you know. Just because they're friendly, I go like, oh, you know what? I'll be absent for a few days. You can write it off. I'm not like that. I'm not like that, you know. If you show me love, I show you love as well. That's that's how I do it. Ah, uh, sure. Okay. Belief. Not what you're thinking about, you bastard. <laughs> I'm talking about a platonic kind of love, okay? That was sure, a it is. Sexual thing that is sick, you bastard. Yeah, it is. All right, so that's the type of thing. Like you bastard. Know, you just um, show me love. I give you love. We all love you, lovey. Right? He's making love. Love will keep the world at peace. Sure. Love. Sure. Next thing I'll be hearing from you will be. War is, is war is everything in you in a human. Well, regardless of what we do, we'll always fight. But anyway, fight, um, fight, fight. You know, just uh, what was I talking about? We were sidetracked. What was we, what were we originally talking about? Your job. Oh yeah, your plans, your future plans. Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, so within the next two years, you better find a job because I will kick your ass if you don't. Well, fair enough. No, don't worry about it. Well, find a job when you're, you know, um, ready. It's I am ready. I'm just looking for it. No, no, no. It's better that you're prepared mentally and everything like that, physically as well. I'm scared. <laughs> because if you're not, then it's it's hard to cope, you know. Like the first week, you're going to be crying. <laughs> you know, you'll be like, oh, damn, this is so hard. Like, Why is it so hard? Damn, boss sucks. Why is there so many sucks. ostriches? The workload sucks. The hours sucks. The pay sucks. This sucks. So, you know. These sucks. That sucks. Everything. Well, 
I'm sure everybody has had that time in their life, you know? Oh, yeah. First job is always, like, not the hardest, but, yeah, it sucks. You just don't appreciate it. Like, for me, uh, my first job was in McDonald's. And, um, At McDonald's, yeah. baby. Not, not like cashier or anything like that. I was maintenance, so I was cleaning shit up. So that was messed up. Was messed up, but it was decent work. It uh, gave me money. I didn't have to deal with a lot of people, just their shit and spills and messes. It's not a. Dig- I thought you cleaned toilets. As yeah, well. exactly. It's not a dignifying work. But somebody has to do it. But it's work, yeah. And I got um, employee of the month. <laughs> just once. I know, just once. And I don't know why. I don't know why what it was. I all you have to do when you work is put just your heart, regardless of what it is. If you're cleaning shit, you better be the emperor of cleaning shit. You have to be the expert. You write, I don't know, I don't know like dummies uh, uh, cleaning shit for dummies or something like that. You're the author. You know. <laughs> Basically, that's what I'm saying, you know, regardless of what, what kind of work you do, just put your heart into it and something fruitful will come from it, you know. Even okay. though you don't like the job, it's not your line of job, just do it, you know. I mean, why not? Just don't do it for a job, do it for yourself. Yeah. We all have to do jobs. That's just the hard truth. If we didn't have to, then I don't know. <laughs> why even bother looking for a job? Yeah. I mean, a lot of people don't like to work, you know. The, the, idea, of, the idea of labor is frightening to them, you know. Ah! Uh, work! Ah! It doesn't have to be. It's Sometimes it can be fun, uh, depending on how you look at it. Uh-huh. Right? So, yeah. So we should stop talking about jobs. I think I bored everybody else. Yes, you did. You just bored the living hell out of them for the whole 12 minutes. And I just tried to make it sound funny, so that this way people will be a little bit more interested. That's okay, I am sermoning you, children! <laughs> He's doing a conversion thing. I know. I, I'm, I'm just saying my point of view is all... Um, That's the reason it's called I'm, ranting. I'm not, I'm not saying that I know everything. A lot of people say I'm very young, which I am. Um, I'm sure I will learn more things in the long run. I will experience it. Um, I'm just saying from what I've observed and what I've experienced so far is that's what I've, you know, said, basically. I okay. don't know what else beyond that. I will see that in a few years. Then in a few years while I'm still vlogging, then I'll tell you guys. If we're going to still yeah. keep vlogging. Or if I'm still alive then, I don't know. He's predicting his death. Well, for one thing, you cannot predict death. I'm gonna be creepy and talk about the living dead. Well, guess what? You're gonna die. No! <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway, that's, you know, that's what it is. What else? What else we talk about? More plans? We only have two minutes. About okay. a minute and 40 seconds. Okay, so we're gonna talk about next vlog. We're gonna talk about school life. Hey, you're making me talk. Why? I just finished school. Yeah, well, you haven't touched school in how many years now? Well, I have experience. And not a big you didn't experience. You didn't experience like years of college life. You experienced one year of college life. That was cheap. I went through three and a half years. Well, that was the uh, duration of my college time, unfortunately. You're crap. No. Well, we'll talk about that in the next video because it is interesting, and I think people will want to hear it. Pause it.